everyone. Welcome to Divine Diaries, my personal walk with God. I'm your host, Katie Ann, and I'm really excited to be here to share a little journey with you guys and also to be able to inspire you in whatever aspect of your life. I pray those. Um, please, guys, remember to hit that notification bell and likewise to subscribe, share with a friend or a colleague who you believe that it will be able to bless just the same. So today's story, I'm going to be talking about one of my Goliaths in my life. And also, let us just say there are times when you need a Goliath or you need a Pharaoh in your life to help you to get close to God, right? So that's going to be my talk. Sometimes we think people are in our lives and they're just there making us feel frustrated and feeling as if we can't go on our stuff, you know, stuff like that. And they're just there as we're stumbling blocks. If you look at the glass half full and not half empty, you can change your own your entire paradigm. So there is a particular person and this person, it is so hard to interact. I was going through some messages all the way back to 2021 with this person and I was like, oh my God, this person is so hard to deal with. Um, it is so difficult to just interact with this person. And I was like, oh, Lord. And because of that person, how difficult the person is up to this day, let me just say that. I've had to pray fervently. I've got to trust God to lead every single conversation with this person, either it be face to face, virtual, a simple text message, a simple phone call. I have to rely on God. Now, I consider this person a Goliath in my life, this big giant in my life who has a way of doing things to make you feel less than to belittle you. If we go back to the entire story of David and Goliath, Goliath was a giant, right? David was a little boy. So let's use this analogy in this case. I am a little girl. This person is a giant. This person makes me feel less than a lot of times. But instead of arguing, cursing, calling the person name behind their back, being the hypocrite, I choose not. I believe the person needs help. I believe only God alone can help this person. So what do you think I did? I reached out to God because God is there, you know, he's there. So if you got to go lie at somebody making your life hard, don't try to handle it on your own. Allow God to fight your battles. So I reach out to God. I, I say, Lord, I know your hand is there. So let me stretch forth and reach your hand. So I pray. And I don't just pray for the person. I pray for me, for me to have patience, for me to be humble. And I always ask God, what is the lesson you're trying to teach me through this interaction? Because it's that person I can't get rid of. I can't because the person is in my life. You get what I'm trying to say? But this person is so difficult. And I'm not the only person that said the person is difficult. So when I started to rely on God and I, I had to really reach out to God and stuff like that, my faith increased. My faith grew like really, and I became stronger until it reached a point where when the person started to interact with me for, again, remember, I have to speak to God. I have to ask God to put the right words in my mouth. I also put the right words in a person's mouth so we can actually have a good conversation. And when I started to look at the messages coming into 2023, the difference, and I was like, whoa, even 2020, I'm like, listen, this is the work of God. Because 2021, I was trying, and then this person was shutting me out and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, letting me feel ashamed. 
belittling mm -hmm. me. And based on my responses, as I read them back, I could sense the entire hurt. Like I was able to relive it. I also was able to sense my own sarcasm in my responses. So I did not know how to respond then. But as I continued and, you know, get close to God and my strength was there, my faith increased, I knew how to handle interacting with you know, the person in, in that regard. So I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I, I also call this person my fear because this person is, if you remember the Israelites were in Egypt for years and years, you know, they became slaves, stuff like that. And when God sent Moses, Pharaoh did not want to send them like, why on earth should I send them? If my people have to do their own work, um, I'm not up for that. You can just imagine that's what the Pharaoh said, right? But God never stopped. He wanted his people. And maybe Pharaoh would have given in at some point, but God needed to let us know who he is. So he hardened Pharaoh's heart, right? And then the 10 plagues came, not one, not two, I will have 10 plagues reach right and it's it's such a profound thing when you think about it because i'm gonna be honest we have pharaohs in our lives we have goliaths in our lives we also have delilahs right <laughs> we have canes in our lives yes we do right but in the midst of it all god parted that red sea and the Israelites were able to go through. And all of Pharaoh's men died in the water. No, God made a way. There's a gospel song that I really, really love, but I can't sing. So I'm, I'm not going to even give you guys the joy of laughing at me. But he'll make a way. Very touching song, you know. <sighs> I can hear the song singing, playing in my ears. Like, you yeah. know. Oh, guys, go check it out. You know, Pharaoh's army was closing in. They'll soon overthrow. I, I won't get into it. <laughs> Y'all would think I'm crazy. Anyway, so, and I got a part of the Red Sea and they were able to go through. We encounter people in our lives that want to hold us down, hold us back. That person that I'm making reference to is also like that. Also demonstrating tendencies of Goliath because they are this giant in their mind. Um, they can belittle you. They can say anything to you. They feel as if they are in control. Or remember what I said to you guys before. You are enough. You are worthy. You are a child of God. So you don't have to be thinking to say, am I... Can I do this? You can't do it on your own, but you can do it with God. Listen, I overcame because of God. My relationship with God is better than it was in 2021, 2022, 2023. And it's been better since 2024 because I rely heavily on God in not just relating to that person, having conversation, but in everything that I do. I have not let go of God's hand. I am happier. I glow every day. And I'm sure y'all can see it. Red fits me. I know, I know, I know red fits me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? Red thing. My lip gone already, but yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> so I have been able to overcome. I continue to hold on to God's hand. I'm not going to let go because I know the minute that I let go, it's going to be disastrous for me and I don't want to encounter that. I, I give you a quick story. One day, I forgot 
to pray and put that person in the prayer. I was rushing. And someone had asked me to do them a favor and I was doing it, but time was against me. A lot of stuff. And I was rushing. The impact of that was beyond my imagination. That was as if Goliath slew. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, <laughs> the word not come out good. <laughs> it's like, go like, it slew me. Is that the word? Slew me? I don't even know, but yeah, let us just say, go like, like he chopped me. He slashed my hand or he slashed me on my leg. It's as if I was wounded by Goliath. It's as though Pharaoh's army was really closing in on me. It's as if they had overpowered me. They have overthrown me and I was crying. And I remember I could not understand how this could have happened. And I remember a friend of mine said, let's think about it. Like, what were you doing all day? And I had to backtrack my entire day from the start right up until the incident and the only thing I did not do was in my prayer I did not pray for this person I did not pray for God to guide and protect me in my interactions with that person in my interactions with people that day so guess what? It's not just the person to be blamed. It's also how I responded to, right? Again, remember, I was sarcastic. I'm like, and you, you get what I'm trying to say? Thank God for his grace and his mercies every striking day. So I have learned the hard way. Do not rely on yourself alone, Katie. And you can't do nothing. So I learned that. So in everything that I do, I speak to the most high God. And I encourage you guys. And that's something I've been doing since I started this series to really use my testimony to share with you so you can be inspired and you will start to have your own relationship with God. But if you're having a relationship, keep straining your relationship. If you don't have a relationship, it's never too late. You're not too far from from God, he's right there, stretch out, start talk to him, just like how I'm talking to you, yeah, I'm a little crazy, we know, but still, just talk to him, go to him, he's there, he's reaching out to you, reach out to him too, right, that's, that's what I want to share, so in essence, we all have Goliaths. We all have Pharaohs in our lives. It's what you do that makes the difference. It's how you relate to them. It's how you look towards overcoming it. Are you looking towards doing it on your own? Or are you going to reach out to God and ask God to intervene and take control of the situation? Because I've had to do that. I, I, I'm not in control. God is like... Uh, uh, like, uh, in control of what? I don't want that. That's that's too much. Too much when I have a heavenly father who's in control. Um, I'm going to sit down and allow him to take control. And I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep trusting him to deliver because he's an on-time God, right? So if you're battling something, if you have your Goliaths really showing up, and if you have more than one Goliath, if you have more than one fears in your life, don't think you can fight them alone. David did not fight Goliath alone. He was with God. God was with him. He trusted God right? Moses trusted God that God would make a way and God just parted the Red Sea like, we're going through, right? <laughs> so trust God and rely on God entirely. Um, He's there for you, so do the needful, right?
reach out to him. Pray. Your heavenly father wants to hear from you. You see, I glow every day. I'm so happy to talk about God. Listen, man. Trust me, right? Um, before I go, I want to share this thing. And like it's it's such a profound thing. Like I love it. I I love going to this particular church. And every time you go there, they make you feel so comforted. They make you feel so happy. And they say, it's the best day. It's a blessed day. It's the rest day. It's the Sabbath. Welcome. And I feel so happy when I hear that every time I go to the church, I feel so happy. I was just thinking about it today before I came to talk to you guys. And I was like, oh my God. Like if a lot of congregations, when you go there, they would just like say something similar. You'd feel so, oh my word, you feel so happy. And I, I feel very happy when I hear these, you know, them say that. I'm over the microphones. I'm like, everyone is just smiling and you can see the light of God shining on them. Guys, that's what I want for you all, for you guys to just get close to God and you can have that glow. Even when you're going through your trials and your tribulations, even when you're at that Red Sea and you don't know how you're going to go through it and you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know what you're going to do, you can just still glow because you know the big man is in charge and he's going to make a way for you. When you see that Goliath standing in front of you telling you listen you can't do it like me and the big man you can't do me no, no. you just let, let it go let go let God take control and you're gonna see how he's going to inspire you he's gonna put what you need in that way he's going to equip you to overcome your Goliath and who knows maybe even inspire your own Goliath so your Goliath can get to know him right and in the midst of it all if you're praying for your fears and your Goliaths it should not be any bad prayer we don't do bad prayers right sincere prayers asking God to help them to get to know him asking God to help you so you get closer to him and give him all the glory and the praise, right? I'm going to leave that with you guys. Remember, well, whatever day it is, I just want to say it's a, it's the best day on a Sabbath. It's a blessed day on a Sabbath. It's the rest day on a Sabbath. And the Sabbath is a Sabbath given to God for man to rest, right? I, I feel so happy when I go to that church. Oh, my God. I feel really, really happy. But anyways, I must leave that with you guys. Please take care. Talk to y'all soon. Mwah. May God be with you until we talk again. Please be safe. Take care. Bye. By the way, please remember to hit that subscription bell. And of course, that notification button. Whatever it is, subscribe, subscription button, notification bell. I think that's the way it goes. Anyways, take care. Bye-bye.